But generally, this is what you're looking at. And that math doesn't look good for reloading with factory components versus just stockpiling more factory ammo. So if you're making components yourself, we need to talk about the pros and the cons of what you can actually produce yourself. First up is the gunpowder. Basic black powder has been made for centuries. So with a few basic chemistry tools and a little bit of know-how, you'll be able to make it too. However, this will be basic, old-timey black powder, which burns slower and dirtier than the smokeless powder found in modern ammunition. This means two things for your reloaded cartridges. First, they'll have a lower bullet velocity than modern factory loads, and second, they'll be more fouling of your firearm. Black powder burning slower than smokeless powder also means that there's lower chamber pressures. So if you try to fire these rounds from semi-automatic weapons, it will most likely lead to a short stroking of the action and a failure to extract or a failure to feed. Black powder burning dirtier means more cleaning and maintenance for any weapon. But this is particularly a problem for any weapon that uses a direct impingement gas operating system, because all the extra fouling could easily obstruct the gas tube and prevent the weapon from cycling. Black powder is also corrosive, meaning that when burned, it leaves a chemical residue that's damaging to metal. So firing your black powder reloaded cartridges from a direct impingement or gas piston operated weapon means this corrosive residue will start to damage the delicate parts of the weapon's gas operating system, ultimately destroying the weapon over time. 